Last week, I released a video on the Renmo library, a bunch of free templates for Bricks Builder, which I recommended you take a look at. Totally and utterly free. Link to that and the video in the description below. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another load of free Bricks templates in the Bricks design set library. Now, there's a bunch of templates inside you. Great way to get started, get up and running, or just learn how to build different templates using Bricks Builder. Let's take a look at what it offers. Now, first of all, when you go to the site, you'll see that you get this option to upload a JSON file. This allows you to upload your own templates and share those through the Bricks Design Sets website, which I think is pretty cool. So if you've built templates and you want to share them, just go ahead and upload them and you can start sharing them as part of this overall design set. So that's pretty cool. You also have a wall of fame for all the people that have actually shared templates through the Bricks design sets. So you can see if you hop into this section, all the people have had their names listed here. So if you add something, you'll be listed here as well. That's pretty cool. Now, at the time of releasing this video, there's only one complete template here, which is this, I don't know how to say it, Lotso. I don't know. This is a full website, so you can download this and use the entire setup. That's pretty cool as well. And hopefully this is something that will grow and expand because it's nice to have an entire design available for bricks as opposed to just those blocks. But if the blocks is what you're looking for, just simply come into the library section and then you can see all the different blocks that are available. If you look on the left-hand side, you can see all the archives. This will tell you all the different types of templates and how many templates are in each one of these. Now, I would like to see, from a design point of view, the sort of like set section, which tells you how many are in there, a little bit lighter, because at the moment, the contrast between the two of those is a little bit difficult to see. But this isn't a design tutorial when it comes to the website. This is more about those blocks and templates. So let's say you're looking for a footer. Just click the footer section, and in here, you'll have all of the different footers that are available. It'll tell you, first of all, who actually created the template, when it was created, and when it was last modified. Then it'll show you the template. But what I really like is this template works for me, or I have a problem. This allows you to very quickly see if this template is 100% working for everybody that's downloaded and installed it. Now, bear in mind that Bricks is being regularly updated, and that could ultimately lead to these templates. If they're not updated as well, breaking over time. So it's good to see that if anybody's having a problem, you can see some people have, and then you can make a more informed decision about whether you want to use this yourself. And this is available on all of the different designs. And you can see we scroll through, there's a bunch of different footer designs. If you want to see them in context, you can open the single page, and then you can see this in full context on a page itself. It gives you a better understanding of what this could look like as opposed to just this preview window. Same thing goes if you want to take a look at cards, for example. We've got nine different options here. Again, all the same details are available. And you can just hop over and you can get live interactive options. Again, open this up in a single page and see them on a page and get a real feel for what they look like. As you can see, there's a bunch of different options here. So you've got some really nice, clean looking starter points. But now we've seen this, how do you actually use these templates in Bricks itself? Well, it couldn't be easier. What we're going to do is we're going to copy the URL for the site. We'll pop back into WordPress, come down into the Bricks, into Settings, go to the Templates tab, scroll down until you see Remote Templates. And all you need to do is pop in the Remote Templates URL, in this case, the BricksDesignSet.com. Click on Save Settings, and you're done. There's no passwords, there's nothing. Simply pop in the URL. And now we can access those templates. So let's go and create a new page. Let's edit with bricks. And let's just choose a template. So there's our templates option. We'll click to open it. We've got my templates, but what we're looking for are the remote templates, which are the templates we can access from the website. So once we do that, you can see template bundle. Any of the bundles you have set up will be listed inside here. Then you can choose the template tags or the template type, or you can go and search for what you want, or you can literally see all of them. Now, at the moment, you don't actually get to see a preview in this editor, and this is a little bit disappointing. It would be nice to have that as a built-in facility, but to be honest, that's more to do with bricks, I think, than it is to do with the actual design sets themselves. So, for example, let's say what we're looking for is those cars again. Now we can click on the little preview, and that will open up the new tab, taking you over to the bricks design site, and you can see what they'll look like. Same thing goes if we choose the next one, so they're all listed here. So once we've chosen the one that we want, we'll say we want this card six, we'll click insert, and that'll put that straight into our design. So now we can start editing any part of this that we want. So we can change the images in the way you expect. Just click, choose a different image, insert, and it updates in real time. Change the styling, change the typography, all those things are easily done here. Let's remove this, and let's go and add another template in. 
This time, let's come over to our remote templates and open up a header or a hero section. We can preview. This one looks pretty good. We'll take this one as a starting point. We'll go and insert it. And now you'll notice because this has a color palette associated with it, whereas the previous one didn't, it now asks us, do you want to import it? We can say yes or no. It's up to you how you want to work. So if you've set up your own color schemes and things, you probably don't want to override those by choosing yes on here. So we can choose no, and then we can customize this the way that we want to. So you see this pulls everything in. Everything is built out on the right hand side. If you want to check what it looks like on the different devices, you can see it scales nicely. Everything works as you would expect it to. And then you can just come in and start customizing. So you may want to change your buttons, for example. You can select your button. You can come over. You can change anything you want on here. So we can take these options out. If you create your own classes, you can apply your classes here. And you'll notice that these classes have already been built in as part of this. So you can select your classes and you can start customizing, or you can apply your own classes to any element you want inside you. And this is kind of just showing you what you can do with it. There are tons and tons and tons of options inside you. So please do check those out. But I think it's a great starting point. And if you want some templates to get up and running, you want to quickly wireframe a design, hand it off to a client, get their feedback, and then customize it the way that you want it to for that client, it's pretty easy. So this is another great collection of growing templates for Bricks. Now, if you come across any great resources for Bricks, drop a link in the comment section down below so I can check them out and maybe include them in a future video. Now, if you want to learn more about working with Bricks from the basics through to more advanced topics, check out the website learnbricksbuilder.com, which is where I've got all of my dedicated Bricks tutorials and resources available for you so you can start working through and learning more about Bricks today. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tatson. Until next time, take care.